Hi dear soul, welcome to day number 28 of April Yoga Challenge 2020. We're just two days away from completing this challenge. For today's challenge is very very special that I want to share with you so you get some value from this challenge. This is called Karani Mudra. In scriptures, it's explained this mudra or the posture that we are going to do is the fountain of youth. When you do it every day, if you have high blood pressure, it will lower down. If you have anxiety, that will go away. It has, it has straight impact on your root chakra and sacral chakra. So without any further ado, I show you how to do it, two variations of Karni Mudra and then we do it for five minutes on day number 28. Okay, so to do this challenge, you lay down on your back, hands are pressing on the ground and with a deep breath in, bring the legs up straight. If you're not able to bring your legs straight up, you can also bend a little bit and gently bring it right. So making a 90 degree angle. Toes are pointing up, eyes gazing at your toe, making sure your hips are not up. They're right on the ground, you can feel your sacral and the tailbone are touching on the ground. Your sitting bone, you can feel it on the ground as well. And toes are pointing and deep breathing. When you're breathing deep, feel the awareness at your pelvic muscle. And staying here for the count of five. Three, four, five. When you want to go down, deep breath in, bend your knee or straight knee, inhaling. Hold the breath, exhale slowly while you're moving your legs slowly. And release. Now the second variation, Inhaling deep, slowly bring the legs up. Exhale, going forward. Holding the breath, eyes gazing at the tip of your toes. Deep breathing, staying here for the count of five. Three, four, five. Inhaling deep, slowly head is down. Exhale, bring the legs down straight. Exhale. If you like this, you can do it one more time, but two times is very good for today's yoga challenge. So let's get started. Inhale deep, going up. Exhale here, deep breathing, steady pose, hands are pressing on the ground. One, two, three, Four, five. Inhale deep. Exhale, bring the legs down. Slowly exhalation, slowly bring the legs down. Release and feel this impact on your pelvic muscle below the below the lower belly. Now the second variation of Karni Mudra, inhaling deep, gently bring the legs up, exhale going forward, eyes looking at the tip of your toes, staying here for the count of five. If it's too hard for you, you can also grab, you can hold just behind your knee, so you're able to stay there, eyes looking at the tip of your toes and deep breathing. One, two, Three, four, five. Inhale deep. Slowly bring the head down, hands down. Exhale simply, bring the legs gently down. Exhale, release, and let go. Spread your hands wide. Open your legs wide gentle breathing and relax here for a moment or so. So how was it for you? That is Karani Mudra, very impactful mudra. That is not asana, that is a mudra because it's an internal internal movement of the muscle upward when you do it right this is highly impactful and 
this is, as I said in the scriptures, is specifically mentioned is the fountain of youth. So I'm so glad we have made it that far. I want to congratulate you for that. If you like today's challenge, please hit the like button. That really motivates me. If you're new here, I invite you to come and subscribe and join, join the community so you will be notified for all the upcoming videos that uh, we, are, we are going to have here. So I thank you so, so much. I love you so much. And I see you tomorrow for day number 29th of Effort Legal Challenge 2020. Bye for now.